here's how to set up Kilohertz Compactor in FL Studio. I got a lot of comments that this wasn't working for some people, and I had some trouble at first, but I figured it out, so let me show you exactly how it's done. First off, we're going to grab the sound that we will be using and throwing it on. So I'm going to put that on a mixer channel, in this case, Mixer 1, and we're also going to grab any kick drum. That'll do. Now the kick is going to go on its own mixer channel. I'm going to put it on two, and I'll just place it in a few different spots so we can make sure that it's working. So right now, of course, nothing's happening, but we have our kick on two and our bass sound on one. On our bass sound, we're going to add this plugin. So here it is, Compactor. And what you want to do, there's two things you need to do. First of all, you want to select your kick channel. So for me, insert two, right click on this little arrow down here and hit sidechain to this track. Then back in Compactor, we're going to turn on sidechain mode right here. It will say input three, four. And then you want to hit the gear up top, select this one, go to processing, and under connections down here on this second one, choose your kick. For me, it's labeled as insert two. And that's all there is to it. Now it will be working. And from here, it's about dialing in your settings to whatever you want it to do. So I'll usually lower attack and release at first and have it fit like that. And of course, now if we look at that with our oscilloscope, you could see we have our side chain set up. It's working correctly now. That's how you get it set up with FL Studio. If you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments below. But that's going to wrap us up here. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.